So what is the HS256 algorithm that is commonly used with JSON Web Tokens? So HS256 is an algorithm that is used to generate like the message authentication code at the end of a JSON Web Signature Token. Every JSON Web Signature Token, unless it's an unsecured JSON Web Token, consists of three parts. So you have like the header, you have the claim set, which basically contains the actual payload, and the header contains like some metadata and information about how uh, the message authentication code or the signature was generated. Yeah, you take the header and you take the claim set and you HMAC them. So if you're not sure what an HMAC is, I have a dedicated video on that. So an HMAC basically means that you have a hash function that uses a specific secret. With that basically, or if you change the secret, then the hash value will also be different. And the way this works is if you like come up with your header and with your claim set, you take the secret uh, and you put it inside of this HMAC function. And in the end, it's going to produce you a message authentication code. And this message authentication code is then properly encoded and then appended at the end of the JSON Web Signature Token. Now, here in this video, I uh, deliberately uh, drew like these blocks. Now, obviously, in, with a normal JOT or JSON Web Signature Token, you would actually base64 URL encode this part and base64 URL encode that part and separate all these parts with a dot. And in order to verify like this whole thing, you need to take like the secret, just calculate like the hash again, just like you did it before, like calculate the HMAC again. And then whatever you end up with, you need to compare this to the message authentication code that you received. And if someone tampered with the data, meaning someone changed like something, for example, you changed the role, then you will actually end up with a different uh, value here. And then you notice that and you can reject like this token. Yeah, so the bottom line of this algorithm is that you need to have a shared secret. In order to create this token, you need to have a specific secret. And in order to verify this token, you need to have this particular secret as well. And that can sometimes be a problem if we're talking about two different organizations. And uh, that's when asymmetric crypto systems come in. So for example, RS-256 or ES-256. I'm going to make a dedicated video about these two as well. So uh, yeah, that's it pretty much for HS-256. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.